you guys. So this is my reality. I have an appointment in about, first of all, hi, how are y'all? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> um, so I have an appointment in about 30, about an hour. So we're gonna be heading out of here in about 30, 40 minutes. Um, so real quick, I'm gonna make the bed. So the realities of a stay at home mama. <laughs> Got dressed. Hi, Papa. Showing the realities of our home. What? What? Hi. Hi. <laughs> More what? More. You just have yours. And what exactly are you trying to? This kid. What? How about you have some after you? I see him eyeing the pizza. It looks like he's after. You know what you're after. We know what you're after. Oh, we know what you're after. <laughs> hey. I'm about to have a, a mean parent moment. You had two cups. You had two cups. <laughs> it's not even 10 o'clock yet. <laughs> so Alex caved and gave him pizza. <laughs> I had no choice. <laughs> well, like I was saying, or trying to say. So we changed the table to over here across from the TV. <laughs> because we ended up what's it called making this entire thing a playroom it's so much easier knowing that all his crap is in one spot yeah so more he's asking for more pizza yes <laughs> more Oh, <laughs> uh, and yeah, we have a coffee corner now. Usually this stuff is not here. But yeah, so it's really, you know, cups. Fairly well organized, I think. And we have our little wall of the family. What do you think? I think it was my excellent decorating skills that really put this home together. You don't agree? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we um, what was it? So yeah, we have. What are you doing? <laughs> we have an appointment coming up. We have to leave soon for that. Um, quick update is that. I ended up not passing my um, original glucose test, so I had to go back a few days later to do the three hour one, which wasn't good because I had to like be, what's the word? I had to fast for like eight to 12 hours around there. And then, so I woke up super hungry. I couldn't even take my prenatal vitamins because they have a little bit of sugar in them. And so I was just sitting there, completely bored, and my phone died on me, so that was fun. Um, <laughs> let's see. But I did pass my glucose test. I just have to, you know, watch what I eat and not go overboard with the sugars and the, what's it called, the carbs, so. Yeah. That's where we're sitting at, and we'll see what the doctor says today. You got more pizza? Just like a half slice. <laughs> so yeah. 
What are you, are you expecting anything to happen today? He just kicked my bladder. I was expecting that. Oh. Guys, look at this belly. This one, hold on, hold on. Cause she's not gonna put it on her belly. But look at this, look at this belly. <laughs> I'm not zooming in. That's just how big, this is a big kid. Look at how, look at how big this kid is. <laughs> yeah. You happy? Yeah. Two boys? Yeah. Your little minions? Group? They're gonna take all my hair. <laughs> it's already happening. <laughs> <laughs> Run! 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 Daddy's gonna get you. Daddy's gonna get you. <laughs> I am so hungry, you guys. I literally saw your um breakfast bars and I was like, I probably should take one and I didn't. You always do that to yourself. Well, we should grab lunch after this. I, I knew you would say that and I was already thinking it. What are you thinking? Uh, That's not helpful. <laughs> Dale, what are you thinking? I'm gonna say ice cream. This is what's an ice cream. You know I've been craving ice cream for a while though. <laughs> All right, so we're back. We've been back for a while. The boys took a nap while I caught up on Good Trouble and Handmaid's Tale, so. Hi, girly. You sticking with the, with the only woman in the house? Hi. Hi. Yeah. Come on. So, it's actually been, it's been long awaited, I know. But this is Eli's room. Welcome. All right, so at first glance, I've kept it pretty simple. We ended up keeping gold stars here. We went with a futon, just in case we have guests, you know, the grandparents or anyone. We can, um, you know, house them and they still have a place to sleep. If they prefer a bigger space or a bigger bed, we do have the um the uh, blow up bed, but this is convenient. Nice thing is we have a a little stool here that we can just rest our legs on while we feed Eli. You know, a little sensory toy for him. Pillows, Target, yeah. <laughs> so over here, I don't know if you guys can recall or not but i've actually had this lamp since i was a teenager and i ended up giving it to mateo for his nursery and we figured it's only right to put it in eli's nursery too and like i said twinkle twinkle little star is the theme of this room we kept it very color neutral these are blackout curtains um so he doesn't get disturbed but the color is really nice it's like a beige with some gold kind of like tint to it and tassels changing table you know the color scheme like i said golden gray or silver but we did throw in like light blues and greens so we plan down here, you know, little extra things. But here I'm planning on diapers once we open the boxes. Little trash can. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. How you doing? You crazy girl. And you guys can remember us making the crib. This is toy Eli. <laughs> Mateo likes for me to change his diaper on a regular basis. Um, so yeah, a little spaceman. And his little mobile. And of course the stars and the moon from before. 
We kept it extremely simple. And the green corner. <laughs> so we're gonna keep like pajamas and pants and stuff like that. Very trying to organize it. These are awesome um, for organization reasons. Um, just so that we know what we're going for. So it is, um, what's it called? I can write on them, erase them and whatnot. And I got them from Target. This whole thing is from Target. Um, we also figured, like, I'm hoping to have Mateo help me out um, and be a part of, you know, Eli's growth so that he doesn't feel like, you know, like he isn't a part of it or like kind of keep him in the loop, you know? So maybe I might even do like A, B, C and like if I need his help, I'd be like, hey, can you grab something from cabinet A or whatever? So that's what I'm thinking. Sound machine. That's important. We tend to use white noise. We still do use white noise for Mateo, so we figured this would be smart to have for baby Eli. <laughs> this here we've actually had in Mateo's nursery. It's a little picture of Alex. He's so little. With his dog Shep when he was growing up in the farms in the New York area. And of course, we have little Eli photo. It's a very simple, very, very simple room. Um, I like the color scheme. I think it's gorgeous, but I wasn't trying to go for anything extravagant or crazy. So, what's up, girl? And then, of course, the chaos is hidden behind the door. So, the chaos is all in here. These are some baby toys that Mateo used to not play with, but now all of a sudden he's interested in because, you know, you know how kids are. You guys remember this little folding thing, sensory to toys, boppy pillow, we've already been um, stacking up on size 1 diapers, I think we're good so far, maybe one more box at some point, but it's looking good so far. Mm. Clothes ready. I think we're pretty much set with clothing. We have some leftover things from when Mateo was little, and we also obviously have some things that we purchased. <laughs> As you can tell, Ross is the place to be <laughs> for prices because these things are normally like $15, $20 for like one thing. So, you know, I'm not about to do that. So, <laughs> look at this. Look at this. This one was from Target, you guys, for $4.48. Look how adorable this little onesie is. Oh my god, now it's so soft out. Soft out. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is Eli's room. And we still here. <laughs> yeah. As for Mateo's room. Don't mind that. So we're actually so this here is actually um up just for the night um because last night apparently here in hawaii we're in hurricane season i didn't realize hurricane season happened in the middle of the day of the summer apparently we're also in like hawaii's fall season which is my summer so it's really odd um but yeah so it's like crazy hurricane thundering you can feel the whole house shake kind of rain and I didn't want any lightning or anything disturbing him, so we ended up putting his blanket up. But I got curtains today, so we're, we'll put those up today. But yeah, this is, yeah, I don't know if y'all remember Mateo's room. We changed it up a bit now that all his toys are downstairs. So disregard the blankets. <laughs> but yeah, girl, girl, you don't want to hang out with the boys? They smell? Do they smell? They fight too much? Come on, let's go.
apparently the stud finder that we have doesn't work or something and apparently like we just we ended up having to pin the curtains in as you can see because there's a bunch of holes underneath from when i was trying to find the studs and make sure make sure we weren't hitting any metal frames it just wasn't working so <laughs> pinning it i guess is the best way to go and i'm cool with it as long as it stays up and it blocks the um the uh, was lightning strikes from being seen in here unfortunately <laughs> Alex has pointed out that now it looks like a movie theater. Yeah. <laughs> what do y'all think? <laughs> what color? Mateo, what color? Red. Red? Good job. <laughs> what you make them? Check it. Should've put it on the grill. I agree. We shall see how this goes. <laughs> Smells already, good though. I'm already in too deep. <laughs> You're in one chicken. Alright, that does not look bad. You guys, get to a man who does it all. Including dealing with a pregnant lady's attitude. Whether or not she's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to call it a day. Going to enjoy this dinner that my husband made. And that's all. So thanks for watching. Oh, I have one last thing. I told you all you might not see in the next vlog. I'm kidding. Everything's fine with the chicken. <laughs> Are you having hiccups? Yeah. And Chewing problems. <laughs> um, okay. Bye, guys. Okay. What? Say bye. Say bye. No. <laughs> <laughs>